Are you trying to decide between Monday.com and Asana? Are you not quite sure which platform will meet your needs best and perhaps what functionality is on offer and which one ultimately you should go with? Well, if that's the case, then this video is for you. In this comparison video, I'm gonna be breaking it all down for you so that by the end, you should be in a position to choose and to proceed. I'm gonna be opening up both of the tools. I'm gonna to be showing you under the hood exactly what they look like, how they work, and the functionality that's on offer. I'm also gonna be sharing with you my personal experiences and also, and perhaps more importantly, the experiences of thousands of other customers. As I say, at the end, I will be making some very specific recommendations as to who I think both platform is best for, whether you're a small organization, uh, an independent business owner, or perhaps a larger organization, and you work within uh, a specific team, and perhaps you're considering one of these platforms for more users. Now, before I delve into this, I do just want to mention that if you did want to sign up to either platform, I will leave a link in the description below for both. Now, both of those will take you through and it will enable you to set up a free trial. So um, I would strongly recommend that you do that. I would play with both tools yourself and I would see ultimately what you prefer. That is perhaps the best way to test a tool is to and to identify whether it's right for you is to give them a go. But with that said, let's delve into each platform. I want to start by giving you a high level summary of what each platform is and what it is designed for. So if we start with monday.com, it's a relatively new uh, company in comparison to Asana. It's, it was kind of set up four years later, but it does have more paid customers at this precise moment. Now these numbers are taken from the latest reports published by both companies. They both support the same operating systems, so it doesn't matter whether you're on a Mac, a PC, then you can use both of these. They are both um, web-based cloud solutions. In other words, you'll set up an online account and you'll log into these via your internet browser, though both do have some mobile compatibility as well. So in terms of what they are for, Monday.com is more of a comprehensive work management platform, and it's all about enhancing workflow collaboration and project management. There's a lot of different tools, as I'll so soon show you, but you can use it for customer relationship management and human resource uh, needs as well. It's also being used by some customers for software development. It's all about customizing workflows. There's some pre-made templates in there and you can build from scratch as well. You can actually set up a multifaceted business management system if you wanted to. Now, in terms of Asana, again, as I've mentioned, it is a cloud-based platform. Again, it's all about collaboration and managing work tasks. You can create projects, allocate tasks, impose deadlines, and engage in conversations all within the Asana environment. You also have some reporting capabilities and the ability to attach files, integrate, calendars and the tracking of object objectives. Now at this point, I just want to say based on my experience, they are very, very similar in lots of different respects and we'll soon see that in the demo. But there are, there are some core differences and those differences will have a massive impact on who, on which platform is best for you and I'll show you that in a second. So let's delve into the demo. I just want to load up both of these tools in real time so you can see them in action. Now I'm gonna start with monday.com and we can move over to Asana at the end. Now, one thing I want to quickly mention is that when you sign up for monday.com, you will have your own custom URL. So at the top, it will be your, um, you know, your account that you set up with slash team.monday.com. So what I quite like about that is that, yeah, if you send that URL to anyone you're working with, then it'll be very, very clear as to um, you know who you're logged into and just everything kind of managed in your own account. I quite like that about it. Now in terms of the interface, this is the home interface. You'll see on the left hand side you have this panel here. This is where you can essentially um, manage your different files. You have workspaces and you can have kind of separate projects underneath. So it's really, really good for managing portfolios. You also have the ability to have a feed and it just gives you a quick idea as to what's going on in your account. And you can also track personal tasks and reminders from here as well. On the right hand side, so I set up a new 
new account just to show you this. I, I am using monday.com in my business. Um, I want to protect my data, so I'm not sharing that with you. But on the right hand side, you'll see you've got some kind of quick tips to get started. It's very, very easy. And there's also on the right hand side, uh, the ability to learn from the tutorials and kind of log support tickets, etc. As you'll see, it's a really nice, clean interface. Okay, I really, really like that about it. It's also very, very professional looking. Now I have created a project uh, ahead of this recording just to show you exactly what the tool looks like. Again, it's very clean and it's very, very user friendly. So this is a very, very simple project that I've created. And the way kind of monday.com works is all from the main table. So you set everything up in the main table and then from there you delve into the further views and functionality. So what I've essentially done here, and by the way, I've replicated this in Asana so you can see the exact comparison. Um, I built this within, well, well, under a minute, and a lot of these um, columns were automatically brought in. So I actually created this, um, and that's another point I should quickly mention, that when you first create an account with both monday.com and Asana, you'll run through a simple tutorial which will help you create your first project. So what I've got is I've got three different tasks set up into three different milestones. We've got to do, doing, and done. Um, you'll see we can add an owner, you've got the status, and what I like about this is it's all pre-formatted for you. You don't need to set this up, you know, the color coding, etc. cetera. Um, and it's all just kind of, you know, it's great. You've got this, the ability to do a timeline and set your dates. We've got some dependencies if we need them. The duration is automatically calculated based on the timeline. We've got a completion date. And this is what I love most. In terms of adding columns, there are so many different ones we can add. So these are the ones that are all kind of done for us. We've got planned effort, effort spend, budget. And also we have the ability to create our own columns. So if I click on, so these are the core task columns and these are the more, more columns. So these, there's so many available to us. We can have links, we can have uh, so super useful text. This, this could be anything we want it to be. We can set up any drop down we want, etc, etc. So really, really easy to manage. I really love this. Um, as you can see, it's very visual, it's very clear. If I click on Gantt, so Gantt was created by default, it's all done for us. So it's all based on the information in the main table. And that's what I really, really like about this, is it's all driven from the main table. So um, this was created for us, but if we wanted to create create it again, you click, click, click the plus button and then you can click Gantt. So that's essentially how that would work. We could also create a Kanban board, uh, again, all driven from the main table. So what I like is you set it up once and then from there you've got all of the different views you need. So as you'll see, uh, we can set up a form. There's loads of app integrations as well. So I really, really like about money.com. If I click explore more apps, you'll see how many marketplace apps they, there are. Uh, so it's fantastic if you're using other tools or you just want to expand the functionality um, of your um, of your account and your data. So as an example, look at this. Auto link VLOOKUPs, absolutely very powerful stuff. Um, you know, there's so much in here. Look how far this goes down. There's, it's being added to all the time. You've got Microsoft Form Embeds, Microsoft Power BI. So it integrates with all the main 365, you know, toolkit, all the main different tools out there, Calendly. So I really like that about it. It's very, very useful. There's apps by monday.com, uh, which I should have probably mentioned. And then you've got the Marketplace app. So, you know, there's kind of uh, third party apps and individual uh, and standalone monday.com apps um, and both of them are very very useful um, so yeah so there's that um, if i just quickly show you a chart so this is essentially the dashboard aspect of monday.com and the data the visual side of things so all you need to do essentially is add widgets it's very very simple you click this button and then you can click chart numbers battery gan etc so you can put this all in one place if i just put chart so as you can see it's one is created uh, a chart from the outset based on um, the, uh, I believe the statuses. Yeah, so it's done that on the statuses, but if we wanted to change that, very simple, to click the drop down, and then you just basically, uh, where is it? You go on settings. So it's very, very simple. You've got all of these different chart options. Really lovely, I really like it. It's everything you need uh, from a project management perspective. So this is a very, very basic demo. I do have a more advanced demo on this channel if you wanted to check it out. But I just wanted to show you what it kind of looks like. So I think that's so, so important uh, in a comparison video. Next, I am logged into my uh, Asana account. So let's quickly just demo this uh, platform. You'll notice the URL is slightly different at the top. You've got a kind of number. Um, and as you'll see, I mean, it's it's great. But in my opinion, I don't think it's as visually appealing, whether that makes a difference to you or not. Obviously, 
is probably functionality you're looking for. But you can customize the home page um, to different colors and things like that. And you can, what I like about Asana, is you can customize your home page as well with different widgets. So if I click on this, we have the ability to have you know status updates, a private notepad, draft comments, forms, etc. But by default, you've got all these different kind of content areas set up. You've got my tasks, which basically pulls from any um, project where you're kind of assigned. You've got this projects area where you can open up separate projects portfolios, you've got goals, tasks that you've assigned, people, etc. Uh, and on the left-hand side, you'll notice it works in very much the same way. So you've got a left-hand panel, and from here you can set everything up. So you've kind of got workspaces here, um, and it's just really, really useful for kind of managing and organizing your data. If I open up the project you'll, that I've created, um, obviously exactly the same way as this one, you'll notice that it's very, very similar. Uh, so we've got um, I've set this up by kind of subsections, exactly the same as if you like. And we've also got the ability to add new columns. So you can have, um, you know, these different field types. You'll notice that there's not as many, um, but there are an enough in there and you can customize them as much as you need. One other thing I quickly mention is that all of these are created by default in uh, Asana. You don't have to create them yourself. Nevertheless, with monday.com, you just click the button and press it. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's much to a muchness, really. Um, if I click on board, the board view, the Gantt view, uh, calendar. So you've got all of these kind of main um, functionality. It's quite similar in that respect. Uh, and I quite like the overview page. Um, it just gives you a kind of high level summary. Um, and perhaps what I should have shown in the manner.com is, you know, if you delve deeper into each task. So if I just click on uh, open, you have the ability to add updates, uh, an activity log, files, etc. And you can do the same in Asana. So if you click on details, uh, you have the ability to add some extra information as well. So I really, really like that. Both of them have the ability to drag and drop as well. Didn't mention that in, in Asana. But yeah, it's really, really good. In terms of the dashboard, I found that the dashboard's much more limited in terms of your reporting capabilities. But at the same time, it's all created by default. So um, you'll notice that this is all, all done. Um, but as I say, it doesn't seem to have the level of uh, functionality in terms of reporting as monday.com and I can see that being a massive limitation of this tool. I really like Asana, Asana. I think it's very useful. I think it's great, but obviously it depends on your needs. So if we go back to our presentation, I just want to quick, quickly touch on pricing because of course that probably is something you are um, thinking about. I've actually found them to be very, very similar in price. Um, that being said, you know, both of them have that free plan as I've mentioned, um, but it does ultimately depend on how many users you have. That's where the cost comes into things. So if we look at money.com first, um, you basically have, you select the number of seats that you want, seats being essentially members or users, um, and you actually do the same with Asana as well. So ultimately you need to work out, you know, how many people are gonna be using it, and from there your, your cost will be um, dictated accordingly. They have, as both tools have three different plans. They have a basic, a standard, and a pro. The, the more, you know, if you go for the pro um, or the advanced in the Asana case, then you're basically getting access to more functionality. So it obviously depends on your needs. Both also offer an enterprise plan, and that's when you really want to leverage the power of the tool. You will be given a custom price as well. But as I say, they are relatively similarly priced. Um, I think in terms of um, independent usage, there's, there's not really much in it. So what are other customers saying? So I've used G2 here. It's one of the best online uh, review platforms, independent review platforms where people submit um, their feedback. And I just wanted to show you quickly how both tools fared. You'll notice monday.com has more reviews, which probably isn't a surprise considering it has more customers, um, but it does fare better. You'll notice that they've got more five-star reviews than four-star. Um, four if you just look at these numbers here, you'll notice that it's actually uh, more, you know, more in the favor of five star than it is the four star. Um, if you delve, if you go into g2.com, you can see much more into this. You can see how people are giving, you know, exact feedback. But I just wanted to give you the high level uh, just to showcase, you know, basically what, what people are saying about the tools external to me, okay? Now, my recommendations, who, what, you know, what platform is best for who? In my opinion, I would actually recommend monday.com. If I had to give one, you know, one tool of choice, it would be monday.com. It is better for larger organizations uh, and any organization that has more complex project requirements, 
I think it's more professional. I think I personally think it's easier to use as well. Uh, and I just like it more. I, I, that's a personal opinion, something you'd need to kind of discover yourself. I also like the app integrations and the automated workflows. I think that's really, really important, particularly if you're running kind of large or, or several projects all at once. That being said, Asana is a fantastic tool and it is really, really good for kind of small and solo individual businesses, especially if you've got kind of really basic project needs and don't need that kind of enhanced reporting. For personal use, it does it does check all the boxes. Um, bear in mind, as I've said, both have free plans. So I think Monday.com wins for that reason. You know, you can you can sign up for a free plan with that. Um, but you know, try Asana. Free plan will be forever free. It's only if you want that kind of more advanced functionality that you end up paying. So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback about either tool, drop them down below and I will get back to you. And with all that said, I would strongly recommend that you sign up for both, see what works for you and go from there. I hope you have an excellent day and all of the best with the platform that you decide to go with.